everyone, uh, this is Ellie here and today I'm going to be bringing you um, my everyday makeup routine but also introducing one of my new favorite palettes that just released from Motives Cosmetics about a couple months ago. So I'm super excited to show you what I've been doing with my makeup, what I've been loving, how I've been doing it, and reviewing this palette. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. All right, let's get into this. So um, I'm gonna be testing out this palette here, which is the Superpower Mattes. This is my newest palette. It has 10 shades and they're all matte. This is the new mode of Superpower uh, eyeshadow palette, which I'm super, super excited for. So I'm just, um, we're gonna work on the face really quick and get all this going. So first things first, sunscreen, I'm using my Lumiere de Vie Daily Brightening Broad Spectrum uh, SPF 50. And this can actually go under makeup and over makeup as you need to reapply, which I love. And it actually does it really well without like moving my makeup all around, which I appreciate because finding a sunscreen that you can actually put on your face and it's not going to move everything around is actually really good. So it makes me feel really good and it's not too oily and it also does not leave a white cast for photos, which makes me really happy. So I'm doing a really simple makeup look today. I don't want anything too heavy or too crazy, but I do have some filming to do and I am going out uh, later. So I'm just taking the Motives Stick Foundation in Warm Sand and I'm literally just going over the areas that have the most blemishes and need the most coverage. Um, this I'll usually put all over my face if I want something heavy, but for the most part, because today we're not doing that, so I'm just gonna use this brush from Rite Aid. It's an artiste style brush and um, I love these brushes. I actually just decided to jump for it and take a leap of faith and see if I liked it. And I actually really love it for foundation, uh, for liquid foundation, stick foundations, everything. So I'm just really quickly spreading it out over my face. This is a little bit of a combination between my eyeshadow review and um, kind of my everyday makeup nowadays. Okay, sorry, back to the makeup. I had one of my students texting me because she is in a summer intensive and she is sending me progress reports. So, um, okay, so now I'm going to use, um, just for some light coverage, the Clinique um, Super Balance Makeup. This has about a medium coverage, a light to medium coverage which I really, really like recently, especially because my skin is getting better. So I'm just taking that. Again, more focusing on the areas that need the coverage rather than the other areas that don't need it so much. Again, because I'm not looking for a super heavy makeup look. I just want something that's gonna be nice and pretty and light and gonna give me a fairly even coverage but still look like my skin. Um, I've been a lot more over the last year. I've worn barely any makeup and so I've actually gotten really comfortable with my own skin. Um, just because I do have a bit of darkness underneath my eyes, I am going to go in with a little bit of concealer, but I barely use concealer anymore as well. I just use it for when my under eyes are really dark. Um, so, and if you'll notice on my 818 biz chats when I um, record my podcast and I do video, I don't ever do, I've, I think I've only worn makeup once. So um, it's been really encouraging for me in the sense of I've gotten used to the skin I'm in and um, actually taken steps to help heal my skin. So that's been really great. Okay, so um, I've, I'm not used to this. <laughs> this is the Motives Liquid Longwear Concealer in the shade Light uh, Yellow. And it has the yellow undertones in it, which if you've been following me for a while, you know I love. So this is the Lumiere uh, de Vie Shady Beach. This is the Lumi Sticks, and these have a bit of shimmer in them, um, but they come in an array of different colors. And rather than using my other foundation stick to do my uh, bronzer contour, I don't want something super heavy. So I'm just gonna do this today. And this actually allows um, kind of my skin to breathe. It also adds a bit more SPF and you can use it on your eyes, lips, and face. So it's safe 
for your eyes as well. But this also just adds a nice kind of bronzy wash of color rather than looking really makeup based if that makes sense. So I really love it. They, I also have blush as well from them that I just adore and it's really good. Okay, so now that I have this going, I'm going to, um, again, really natural eyebrows are my favorite thing. I barely use a pencil anymore. This is D the e.l.f. Wow Brow in Deep Brown. And I just really use it to kind of fill in kind of the blank spaces and just kind of shape my brows a little bit. It's a one and done type of a thing. And again, it's super easy and super quick and it just, it works out really, really well. All right, brows are done. <laughs> okay, so I have been using very little powder recently because my skin has changed from really oily to really dry. This is the Luminous Pressed Translucent Powder in Light Medium. And um, I'm just gonna tap off the excess and just go underneath the eyes, on the nose, and that's about it. Um, if I feel like it's a little too greasy or too shiny in an area, I'll just touch up with it, but very rarely do I have to do that anymore. It's actually really just kind of one and done, one of those things that it's just already done and I don't have to do much with it. Okay, so let's get into this palette. So this has 10 shades. Um, from the left, the top are Grit, Takeover, Fly, and then you have Bold, Spirit, Soar, Level Up, Fierce, Bear, and Feisty. These shades are absolutely beautiful. I used these yesterday in a makeup look. I also have used all of these and I've used these. So I'm gonna keep it, again, pretty light today. I don't wanna do anything too crazy, but I do wanna show you what this palette can really do, how you can get a really natural look, um, and how you can get a really deep, intense look maybe another time. So I'm gonna take Level Up on a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go into the crease of my eye and it's got a really great mirror in it as well, which makes it really convenient for travel. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Takeover because it's a light pink shade that is more peachy in tone and a little bit more neutral. So I'm just gonna go in with that and see what it does. It's a very nice transition shade actually. I probably should have layered that down first before going in with the other shade. So because we're gonna keep it all matte and really natural, I'm gonna take flyover on a more kind of packing brush and I'm gonna tap that on the lid. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit more of a precise brush and we're gonna go in the outer corner. I think I'm gonna take grit because I, again, I don't want anything too, too deep. I just want something a little bit more done. And I'm just gonna go on the outer corner just to add a little more definition. Yeah, I really like that. That looks really nice. I'm gonna work on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take grit on this uh, brush here and just go right underneath the eye. I have a mirror here and this little mirror here. So I'm just kind of going back and forth between the two. All right, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, go with level up and just kind of blow it out just a little bit on the under, on the under eye. I really like this palette, to be honest with you. The mattes blend really, really nicely, and because I used some of the darker shades yesterday, I am really familiar with what they can do. I've been using this palette for about a week, so it's not my first time using it, but it is my first time using these particular shades, and I really like it. I think the mattes are really creamy, really nice, really pigmented, and these are so neutral, but they you can add a pop of color with these particular shades. I think I'm going to take Brave and Fierce a little bit, and I'm just going to run this on the uh, top lash line. It's more of like an eyeliner type of a deal here. It's 
we are going to do mascara. So this is my Motives Fiber Lush, my all-time favorite mascara. I will never go anywhere without it. It is my holy grail mascara. I've tried a lot more mascaras after, you know, trying this one. I just messed up my eyeshadow, but um, I've tried a lot of mascaras after trying this one. And to be honest with you, I can't find anything that does better than this one. This one gives me length and volume. It gives me, you know, it doesn't flake at the end of the day. It's long wearing, long lasting, really does not smudge. I think like if I've worn it for like maybe like 12 hours and yeah, it starts to smudge a bit, but it just does not smudge, which makes me really happy because obviously, you know, who wants smudgy mascara? Uh, I'm just gonna finish off the face really quick. Um, this is the Tarte Cheeky Claymate Palette, and um, I got this as a gift, and I like it so far. It's not bad. Um, it's not wowing me either, though, so um, I just use it when I have a lazy day and I don't really want to pick my makeup. So I'm just taking the bronzer, which is the shade Soulmate, and I'm just using it on a big fluffy brush to kind of bronze my cheeks and my face and maybe a little down my neck i'm also going to use the same blush in here it's called got me blushing and i'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks and then of course highlights because we love highlight this highlight is called light of my life and i have found that I don't really like the stripe all that much, <laughs> the stripe of highlight. So, um, especially because I'm no longer as fair because of the summer. So I just take a really, really small amount. Even that right there is too much. So I'm gonna go on top of that with my beauty blender and just kind of mellow it out a little bit. Um, some highlighters I'm noticing are looking really muddy on my skin so if it's too fair it actually tends to look a little bit too stripy which i'm not a big fan of but you know okay so i have developed something called psoriasis around my lips and <laughs> so i need all the hydration my lips can get so i'm going to use this is a chapstick that's all natural from Sprouts, and this is the Burt's Bees Hydrating Lip Oil. And I'm going to pop this on my lips, just like so. And then I have um, the Motives, I think these are the high gloss lip glosses in the shade Zen. Now I know it looks really scary because it's orange, but when it's on, it just adds a little bit of a warm tint to the lips, and it looks like so. And I love it. These are some of the newer products. So the newest products, I have to say, that are from Motives that I don't think I've used um, on camera before is the Superpower Mattes uh, Palette, because this is brand new, the High Gloss Zen, um, uh, the high gloss uh, glosses and the high um, foundation sticks. I do think I used it maybe once, but I can't remember if I've used it before. So those are just the current uh, makeup favorites that I've been wearing a lot. This palette retails for $45 and it is, in my opinion, so worth it. It has um, all the right shades and these are natural clean ingredients and that is the finished makeup look guys and if you want uh, a discount a 10% discount on anything that is motives related in this video um, you can use code 10 off M A O F F M A for 10% off this palette or your entire order if you decide to throw in some other things on the Lumiere de Vie products and the motives products thank you for joining me and doing my makeup and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!